They started lining up last Friday to get the golden ticket Monday morning. I am number 15. It allowed several dozen people to fill the public seats of the Supreme Court as justices opened three days of oral arguments on President Obama's landmark health care overhaul law. This is the most important Supreme Court case of my lifetime. The Affordable Care Act mandates that nearly all Americans have health insurance by 2014, either through an employer, government program, or the individual market, and imposes a fine on those who don't. The law has sparked intense emotions among its supporters. Because I believe in affordable health care and accessible health care for, for everyone. And opponents who feel the federal government has overstepped its authority. I was here with other activists that want the right to choose our health care. Presidential politics came to the court as well. GOP hopeful Rick Santorum says repeal of what he calls Obamacare is a central part of his campaign. I'm the person who's best able to go to go up on Capitol Hill and get this accomplished. As the decibel level and competing chants rose outside, the justices set to work inside. We will hear argument this morning in case number 11398. Monday's arguments focused on whether the overall challenge to the health care law is premature because of a 19th century tax provision. Today was sort of started with a pretty technical issue, an issue that maybe could derail the whole case if the court uh, went that way. But none of the justices really seemed inclined to, um, to derail the case. They seemed likely that, to want to go ahead and decide the big issues of the, of the case. In particular, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. All this talk about tax penalty, it's all beside the point because this suit is not challenging the uh, penalty. This is a suit that is challenging the must-buy provision. And that's what the justices will debate Tuesday when they hear arguments over whether the linchpin of the law, the individual mandate, is constitutional. Expect to see more crowds, more chants, and more emotion outside the high court. Freedom is a human right! Carlotta Bradley, The Associated Press. Freedom.